I am Crystal. It is Saturday the 29th of August. Um, it, oh, let me just check the time. It's 20 past 12 in the afternoon. And what a yesterday <laughs> and what a palava yesterday was. My son David was due back from London and he was late arriving and um, I had a call from his residence telling me that they'd called the police because they thought David had gone missing. He, I hadn't told them he was going to London apparently. So I had um, my ex-husband ring me up and tell them that they'd contacted him and, and said that David had gone missing. In fact David was in London uh, safe and well. Around 8 o'clock in the evening, David did indeed return back from London. He came, he rang the buzzer, came up the stairs, came in, had a bit of food, used my lavatory, um, sorted out Therese's case, gave me my green tablet back that he'd borrowed to use for internet access, and then proceeded to show me uh, what he brought back from London and it was indeed a Big Ben giant condom and that's all he had to show for his adventures in London um, uh, me and my husband had been panicked out of, well I was panicked because I, I you know wondered where I, I knew where he was but not exactly if you know what I mean so his residents had told me that they had to call the police because after 48 hours they start to panic. Um, a police officer rang on an unknown number last night, very loud female booming voice. She spoke to me and David. And my husband's ex-husband had the police call his abode at, after 12 midnight last night. Um, there was no need to panic. David is 18 in a few few weeks time now, in a couple of weeks David is 18 years old and is no, cl no longer classed as a child. Um, uh, I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, the, after the phone call from the large booming lady police officer I had an extremely bad headache. The post this morning is all for David. It, it's a brown envelope from his brother Andrew. I've had a uh, had a, a text message from his brother Andrew asking me to go to a phone box to take a phone call. I have indeed been punched in the face in a phone box, and I'm not entirely happy about taking a phone call in a po in in a phone box. They are places where there is no escape if someone tries to attack you. So I'm not going out to make a call in there. So. Um, Today I'm going out to the library and to the 99p shop to get some washing powder. I'm afraid my spending limit is £5. 